the English is a more patient opening where white plays c4 to control the d5 square without committing a central pawn. e6 prepares the d5 pawn push and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This prepares the bishop for development. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. Cxd5 releases the tension between the c4 and d5 pawns, creating an asymmetrical pawn structure if black recaptures with the pawn. x5 recaptures the pawn, controls the e4 and c4 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6 the knight cannot move without losing the queen. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a bishop. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is good. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is good. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This threatens to kick a rook. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is best. This kicks an opposing rook. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. The opposing rook is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. That leaves a rook vulnerable to being captured. It is a blunder. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of.